Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the setups that we found in the breakout session. Okay, that's when we start with a blank chart and just see if anything sets up. And what we saw on this particular chart was that, uh, you know, the larger pattern was actually still bearish in NOC. Okay, and we are below the 200 simple. We're also below the 50 simple. And actually, the 5 and 13 are still in a sell mode at this moment. So I want to watch these two zones that we found for a possible failure in the next couple of trading sessions. Now, I'm saying the next couple of trading sessions because I also ran the timing off of this last low. And it's giving me dates of um, November 8th, 9th, plus or minus a day. Okay, so we have also some time resistance to the rally. Now, does that mean that you're supposed to just step in front of this and short? Hell no. You really want to wait for a trigger. You want something that tells you that it's worth placing a bet because, honestly, I don't know if this zone's going to hold or if this zone might hold. And Maybe none of them will hold, but you want to see something that tells you that it's at least worth placing a bet. So typically, we look at a lower time frame chart and we watch to see if you see a new pattern of lower lows and lower highs which would be reason enough to um, consider the short. And then your risk definition would be either above the high made prior to your sell signal or above the high end of the zone, okay, whichever one you're placing the bet against. So that's something to look at in the next couple of days in case this uh, euphoria doesn't last. But remember, no trigger, no trade.